everybody, it's me, Nick Avocado. Follow my Twitter, at Nickocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. I'm back home. Shooby doo, I'm home. Hello, sing with me now. Shooby doo, we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy. Cause we're eating Jack in the Box, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I haven't decided what I'm gonna eat. Probably Jack in the Box. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh my god, I'm so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, so, you guys know I'm here in San Diego on a trip, which is in California. And I'm here for about a week. And I'm meeting up with Trailer Trash Tammy. I'm gonna be filming for you. I'm also here just to like have a good time and spend time with friends and everything. So I'm really excited to be here. And um, I also wanna tell you a little bit about, so I just filmed with Trailer Trash Tammy and I kinda wanna talk to you a little bit about it. But I also have another story time for you today. And on top of it, hopefully I can get to everything. I really wanna do my Q&A. So if you don't follow my Twitter, consider doing it. I'm not gonna tell you to do it. Consider it. <laughs> It's on my Twitter. Um, it's Nico Cado Avocado. I'm gonna be answering your questions. Your comments, your questions, and your concerns on my Twitter. So we have to see what people are saying or thinking or wondering. So yeah, I'm so happy that you're here. I am having a wonderful time. I woke up today and I was like, Life is good! Uh, I really needed this little mini vacay. It's not really a vacay, I'm filming and editing all day, but still, like, I needed, like, a little trip. Get out of the apartment, goodbye Orlin. I love Orlin, okay? There's no, actually, our relationship is really good, a little update about that. Um, it's really good. I mean, I can't say that enough, and obviously I can't prove to you, I mean, it's my relationship, but we're really good. For those of you wondering, me and Orlin are doing great, but it's just nice to, like, had these little trips like I feel like I need to do them every couple months because remember when I went to New York City how happy I got it's not that I'm happy to be away from him it's that I'm just happy for a change like people get really sad and repetition the same routine wake up film edit five hours clean up digest go on the treadmill you know make sure Orleans happy <clears throat> <laughs> Please, my man, and then um, go to sleep, wake up, do it all over again, and eat, 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 film, 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 edit, 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 and it's like, that's my routine. Everyone has their routine. You wake up, you go to school, you come home, you have your chores, you have to do homework, go to sleep, wake up, do the same thing again, repeat. It like kind of makes you sad, and so that's why people love holidays, because it's like a little change. People throw a little wedge in your schedule. Boom. All of a sudden, Christmas is to look forward to. Boom! St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day to look forward. You know, you need something to look forward to. And um, I love to... I mean, it is expensive to come here. I will say that. Like, the plane, the hotel. Um, I actually just paid um, for another... Because my flight leaves at... Um, what time? It's like a weird time, so it's like halfway through the day. So... I don't wanna just like sit around, you know, with my suitcases at a Starbucks waiting five hours for the flight or something because of the checkout times. So I'm like, I'd rather stay here and then go. Um, so I had to pay for a full day even though I'm not sleeping here. I just took care of that right now. So um, I'm not telling you if I'm at an Airbnb or a hotel or an apartment. <laughs> but I know there's probably a sign behind me that everyone's zooming into. Ah, it happened in yesterday's video, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, I'm here, so if you want to knock on the door and say hello, I'll say hello. Um, but anyways, um, by the way, I did cut my hair before coming here, and I want to give you a little tour from the side. Look at this. I'll stick out the double chin. Oh my god. If I can that's one thing I want. I want chin reduction surgery, because I'm okay with the belly and the chest and the waterway arms, and people are loving my thighs on, it, on my OnlyFans. Okay, if I can say so myself. I actually haven't heard any complaints, which is good, but then again, if you're paying to see it, you probably like it. But anyways, um, the one... The one thing that I don't like, <laughs> sorry, is my double chin. So, I mean, just, this is my side profile. It looks really bad, but imagine this. Oh. I might do it, actually. I'm thinking about it, but I have to, we'll have to save, and I'd rather get a bird. I really, I need, I, I'm, I'm currently saving because I really want either a pet parrot. I want another Mr. Noodle, you guys. People keep asking, what are you going to get? What are you going to, you guys, they're like $3,000. It's, it's not in Colombia where a pop, 50 bucks, boom, you know, you get your bird from the store. It's like, here in America, you have to get, it's just so 
expensive. <sighs> but then a, ch a chin reduction surgery would also cost about the same. So I think I'm gonna go for the bird because I really want one, but I'm still saving for it. You guys, everyone's asking me for a new Mr. Noodle. The, the parrots don't start hatching. The breeding season isn't until like right now, but you can't really get them because you have to wean them off the mother and everything. Make sure that they're healthy, give them their shots, da 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 da. I don't know what they do with parrots, Orlin does. He knows. Um, so it's not gonna be till like April or May. <sighs> but I really want a Mr. Noodle. I want a baby Mr. Noodle. I miss my baby Noodle. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I used to have a talking parrot. He, he was green, and his name was Mr. Noodle because he loved eating ramen noodles with me. I used to be called Noodle King. I mean, I still am the Noodle King. <clears throat> but um, I used to eat ramen literally every other day because I couldn't, A, afford other foods. B, I was in Colombia, didn't have access to other foods. And three... Uh, a, B, C, and C, I was like hashtag addicted because it was so good. So, and anyways, I was always eating it. My parrot would join me because parrots can eat grains, no problem. Fried food, like you're not supposed to eat that much of it, but they can. Parrots are very, very Brazilian, very sturdy animals. They can eat lots of different um, c combinations of foods, and spices and all that stuff. So anyways, he used to join me and um, I miss him. You can check him out on my channel. Um, I was a little skinnier, but it's still me, I promise. <laughs> In case you can't recognize me, I don't feel like I'm that. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't know, so I'm waiting for that to happen. And that's my next thing I'm looking forward to. So that's gonna happen in another month or two. I might take another trip somewhere. Um, I don't know where though, you know, like, and the whole cross country thing, it, the, the flight is so not fun. And it's not a direct. I have to go from Orlando to Atlanta, sit in Atlanta for like an hour or two, and then go from Atlanta to Los Angeles or Atlanta to San Diego. And I don't like that, I mean, I wish it was straight, but even if it was straight and direct, that's still five, six hours. Plus, you have to get to the airport early, early. Plus, you have the time zone difference. Plus, your jet lag. Plus, there's the time between you get off the airport, pick up your luggage, wait for it. That takes 20 minutes because of the baggage. And then you have to go to your hotel and everything. And it literally takes a whole day to travel. I'm really not a fan. Um, so, I might do something. Okay, but there's really nothing closer to Florida. I'm trying to think. I love New York City. I miss it. But um, obviously, um, we will wait and see. But I'm just letting you guys know that I'm enjoying my little trips. I know a lot of you guys are checking up on me on like my mental health and how I'm feeling emo emotionally and if I'm stable. And I really appreciate that, by the way. But I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. And I think what I also needed on top of everything I've been addressing over the past couple months is a little trip. So I'm so happy to be here. And it feels exciting. It feels really, really good and I'm having a great time. So, today we're gonna be going to Jack in the Box. Now you guys know I do not like their cheeseburgers. I've tried, well let's pull up their menu now. Um, I've tried a lot of their, oop, that's my OnlyFans, Jack in the Box. Menu, menu. Okay, here we go. So, you guys know I've tried all their cheeseburgers. I'm not a fan of any of them. None of them wow me, unless I dunk a lot of ranch onto them. But then that's just a waste of money. You know, I want the food itself to be good. So, let's go to images. Let me look at a little menu. I love their late night munchies. Here we go, here's a big, yeah, they're, they're Jackie munchies. Their tacos are great. Their egg rolls are great. Their curly fries are great. What else can I do? Their breakfast is great. Um, I also wanna try something different. There might be like a little promo going around. Their cheese fries are great. What else is really good? I mean, that's that's what I like remember. All of their breakfast is really good. Um, egg roll stuff, jalapeno, their onion rings are great. I might get a lot of just sides, because I'm telling you, I'm not really a fan of the, the burgers. I mean, I've tried the Buttery Jack, wasn't a fan. I've tried the Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger, wasn't really a fan. I've tried their classic Jack in the Box J Jack Burger, wasn't a fan. I've, I've had their spicy sriracha a lot of times. It comes with jalapenos. That's good. Um, but yeah, I've had their sourdough, the ultimate cheeseburger. I've literally had all of them. The only one I have, oh, I have had the bacon and Swiss. I just don't, I'm not a fan. I'm, I don't really crave them. I don't think they're astonishing or memorable. I think today I'm gonna do an, a burrito or something different. So um, let's go on over to Jack in the Box. And um, I'm so excited. So. By the way, again, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions on my Twitter. I haven't even looked yet. I just made the tweet now. And I did tell them like I'm gonna do it late tonight, but I think I'm gonna to film two today. Um, 
because I'm hungry and because it's exciting to be someplace different and again I love trying the West Coast fast food it makes me really happy so um, also on this trip I want to tell you I'm doing something I've never done before so I know it's a little repetition, but also that's my brand. I do fast food. I'm a fast food person. But I really, I am trying something I've never had before. So stay tuned for that. All right? Stay tuned for it. You're going to love it. Well, I hope. I hope I love it. I think you're going to love it. I hope I love it. Um, but it's things that people ask me to try all of the time. And I've never, ever done it. So I'm going to do that. And um, let's go get Jack in the Box. Let's go. Here we go. One. Two and three. Bam! And I'm back home, shooby doo. And if you can hear the vacuum in the hallway, they're doing the vacuum cleaner. Sorry about that. But they should be done as soon as I start eating. So let me show you everything that I got. I actually didn't get that much because we're on a diet. Skinny queens run the world. <laughs> so I have some curly fries. That's a large. I got a second. That's a large. <laughs> okay. That's their large, I guess. I got two of them. Good thing I got two of them. Shoot, that looks really small. I don't even know. Okay, and then in here, what did I get? Let's see. Ooh, I got some chicken nuggets. I have never had chicken nuggets from Jack in the Box before. So maybe I'll put that in the title. My first time trying Jack in the Box chicken nuggets. Never had them before. Ever. So I'm just like, I need to try something new because I'm not having their cheeseburgers, you know? Not really a fan of those. And then I have my jalapeno poppers. Mm. And then I got... Ooh, it just came out and went everywhere. Oh my gosh. Here's one taco. They have the best tacos ever. Like, I'm telling you, so, 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 so good. I got four of them because I know they're that good. Also, I want to be nice and full for this video. And I have barbecue sauces. I have ranches. I have hot sauces for my tacos. And anything else that I want to be a little spicy. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to talk like Chelsea. Sorry. She rubs off on you. And I, every time I see her, I'm like, hey, Suge. Okay, so I have onion rings and I have, what's in here, egg rolls. Okay, I did get enough. And then here, okay, I got one sandwich, but it's not their cheeseburger. I decided to try something that I've never had before. I really, I regret, as soon as I was leaving, I was looking at the menu, they have a brand new stuffed burrito. Breakfast burrito, look at them, zoom in around. Well, good thing they're keeping this place clean. I got, ooh! An egg, cheese, and sausage breakfast croissant. Ooh. She's like right up against my door. I'm so sorry. Ooh. You guys know I love breakfast food. So let me get it all pretty. Yes, I can make it prettier than this. I'm very good at my thumbnails. We have lots of practice. So let's snap. Let's do it together. Oh, and to drink, I'm having water. It's in my Jollibee cup. Because <gasps> I had Jollibee like five times on this trip already. Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> We're back home, shooby doo, we're home, hello, we're back home, shooby doo, we're home, hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause we're eating for the first time, I think I might put it in the title, chicken nuggets from Jack in the Box, yay, alright, I'm gonna try it right now, we're just gonna get straight into it, I have my ranch, I posed for it nicely, for my thumbnail, Okay, here I go. Ooh. <sighs> that is good. That is good. Also, this is my big meal of the day. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And let's try my jalapeno popper in the ranch too. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. I am excited. Oh, yes. Excitement. Mmm. 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 Am I really fire? I'll try it by itself. Yes. Yes, thank God they're still hot and steamy. I can't stand cold fries. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is a party. Sorry, that was my computer making the noise. Oh, Orlin just texted me. We're going to be answering your questions on my Twitter. 
So let's go to my Twitter and see what you guys want to know. Um, can I do an egg roll? Ooh, they're still hot and steamy. Here I go. This is one of their best items on the menu. This right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know if they'll fill this, probably not. And they're supposed to do sweet and sour sauce, but I didn't get it. Mmm. One of their best things they have. Right here. Mmm. Mmm. I put barbecue sauce. Is that a weird combo? Mmm. Mmm. That's better than I thought it would be. As you can tell, I'm really enjoying this. Okay. Let's go through my questions. First, let me try this real quick. I've never had this before. Oh, maybe this could be my thumbnail. For oh, that was a close one. Ooh, that could have slid off everywhere. You're gonna wait for it to happen, I know. Okay, so. Here's my thumbnail. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. Dunkin' Donuts is better. <laughs> and so is, um. Yeah. You know what's better? Wendy's breakfast sandwich. I just, I just posted a video of that. The Wendy's breakfast sandwich, I have a, um. Mmm. What do I have? I forget. <laughs> I'm enjoying my food right now. Ooh. It's good. But I think Dunkin' Donuts has better breakfast sandwich. Especially Tim Hortons. They have a great croissant sandwich. It's good. Not as good as these tacos. Watch out. You know how I said this was the best thing on their menu? These egg rolls? This is right up in that, in that tier. <clears throat> These tacos are outstanding. Oh. Yes. Let's put some hot sauce in there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Look at this. Mmm. They are so, so good. Mmm. 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 Don't cry. Don't cry. Rise above it. Rise above it. Don't cry. You are a changed man. Hmm. <sighs> What's the 15 second rule? Oh, this one landed on top of, oh, actually this one landed. I'll show you where it landed. So these two have not touched the floor. Everything else has touched the floor. Well, let's enjoy these only two. Here we go. Man, that's real, aw. Oh. Man, that's really good. Is that my computer? That is my computer. I'm like, what's all that blowing noises? Ma'am, it's okay. Accidents happen. I'm blessed that I still have all this food still here. Look at me, being positive. All right, let's start reading some questions. Did I try everything? I think I tried everything. Except for the all the, the, all the onion rings down below. <clears throat> Where's my other ranch? Do you see it? I got two ranches. Do you see it anywhere? It's not there. Is it in front of here? 
No. I, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, my other ranch. Okay, let's start reading some of these questions. Now, I'm just gonna go like this and just, oh, show more. Oh, here, oh, these are the bad ones. Oh, and when I mean bad, you, uh, Twitter sees it as like spam. Let's go back to the top. Okay, hi, Krista, she says, I wanna tell you that I'm very happy to see you smiling and joyful again. You deserve so much love. The world is a better place with you in it. Oh, stop it, Krista. I really appreciate that. Um, will there be any more Mrs. Pickles? This comes from Hot Kitty. Hi, Hot Kitty. No. And then someone said, who's Mrs. Pickles? LOL. Well, <clears throat> she was a little alter, alter ego. You know how Chelsea Lynn has trailer trash Tammy? I had Mrs. Pick. Well, this is before I knew who Chelsea was. And I only, I made like four videos of it. People either loved it, loved it or hate it. <laughs> I was just, just drink some water. I'm gonna just drink some water and be all crazy and say funny things. The ranch doesn't even make it, make it taste better. You know what, I'm done with that. Jack in the Box just does not make good sandwiches. There's not a single one that I'm just like, mmm. Not a single one. Their egg rolls, however. Mmm. Mm. And I actually loved it with the barbecue. It caught me by surprise. Mmm. Oh, they go so well. Too. Let's do hot sauce too. I need more hot sauce. Okay, next question. <clears throat> and that was to oh, an elf elephant. Hello. Next question. Um, I don't know what that means. Let's see here. Can you make some new music? This comes from Lavitalia. Hello. Um, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting little inserts. Once I get back home, should be doing. I have my violin again. Mmm. Mmm. Would you ever make a channel dedicated to violin? That comes from Alex. We left the chat. Um, probably not. Probably not. If I could like not get flagged for doing other people's work, then yeah, but. At the other day, I don't own the songs and it's not transformative because I'm not, even if it's transformative, transformative you have to use like, as I've learned, like five seconds. So, what good does that do? Even if I'm reacting to it. There's no more, oh, here we go. I was like, there's no more ranch. I got really sad. Next question. Hey, Nick, this is not a question. I just want to share this photo of me eating ramen with cheese because I love cheese, da dun We'll watch you. That comes from Lost in Neverland. Let's sh share her photo. I think she has a filter on. Oh, no, she doesn't. Oh, there she is. Can you guys see? Thank you. Shout out to you, Lost in Neverland. Oh, there's a question. Um, why don't she, oh, oh. I can't say that yet. And the other one, I can't say that either. Oh, oh okay. Next question. Um, eating with you and Chelsea Lynn. Love you guys. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you. Chelsea Lynn is the best. We just collaborated. More's on the way. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I like it with barbecue even more. It's crazy. It doesn't sound like it's supposed to go together. Mmm. That is just so good. So, so good. Let's see here. How you deal with people who are mean? It's very hard. And sometimes I don't deal with it the right way. The best thing to do is ignore. It's just the number one thing. Don't feed into something that isn't good for you. Because it's not going to make it come away. It's going to make you think about it even more. And what good is it doing in your life? Nothing. 
you don't like something or someone, don't engage. Don't even engage. What's the, ain't, even no, ain't nobody got time for that. And sometimes I have, which is where I've made mistakes, but honestly, Oh my god, I saw the most amazing thing about Singapore. Shout out to Singapore. You guys know how the sickness is going around? Now, it might be portrayed in a very nice way. Oh, possibly. Better than it really is, but still. Singapore um, being super um, prepared and reacting and being diligent with... That's a smaller country. How many... Hey, Siri! We haven't talked to her in a long time. Hey, Siri! Hey, Siri! What is the Singapore population? Please. As of 2018, the population of Singapore was 5,638,700. That's actually a lot more people than I thought. That's It's such a small little dot. The country's like this, but... Wow, well, I've been there. I've been to Singapore. I had a wonderful time. Anyway, they're not letting anyone through the country by air, land, sea, cars, boats, without taking their temperature. They're not allowed in if they have a temperature. And the government is sending every single household in the country medical masks for free. Mm, 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 mm. I went to Singapore. I ate some durian. Well, excuse me, a lot of durian. It sent me to the hospital. I'm allergic to sulfur, so I overdid it. And I got sick. That was very scary. I couldn't even breathe. I thought like I was gonna be choked to death by something invisible. And, I mean, technically I can still eat it. But like a couple pieces. I can't eat five whole durians myself. The chicken nuggets are not as good. What what did I do recently that I fell in love with? I was like, oh my god. Oh, Shake Shack. That has good chicken nuggets, good every oh. Shake Shack. I did a video there recently, look it up. So, 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 so good. Mm. The best. Um. Yeah, once you eat something really good, nothing else tastes good. <clears throat> the chicken nuggets are average. Shake Shack has the best I think I've ever tried. Anyway, Singapore. I went by myself. I did not go with Orlin. And I kind of wish I did, but also, I kind of wish I, I'm, I'm happy I did it. It was like mixture, like just right now. Well, actually no, right now I really miss him. But no, I actually, I told you in the beginning of this video, it's nice to go on trips and like, do a little adventure by yourself. Get inspired, look forward to something. Change up your routine. Mmm. Mmm. These are very, very similar to the Burger King um, tacos, which are also very good. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know what would be a feast? The best of each, the best tacos from the best places. <clears throat> Burger King tacos, next to Jack in the Box tacos, next to Taco Bell's nacho line, their nacho fries, nacho fry burrito, and nacho fry supreme, the buffalo chicken one. And let's pr pretend I still have it, which I address with Trailer Trash Tammy, is that they no longer have the, um, the, 
double cheddar chalupa. Mmm. Oh. We are going to rise above the fallen onion rings. That's my fault. I was trying to display it for you. I brought a cookie sheet with me on the airplane. Some of the fries got mixed up. This is a straight fry. This is a gay fry. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> straight. What's the opposite of that? This one tastes better, anyway. Mm. Spicy. Seasoned up. Anyway, <clears throat> Singapore was very hot. I was sweating profusely. It was so hot. There were some nice aspects of it in terms of the landscape. I remember I was up at the Marina Bay Sands. Well, you can look at, just try type in Nikocado Singapore. I filmed a bunch of videos there. And it's, it's this very fancy hotel. It was like, everything was expensive. I felt like I was in America. I really was splurging. Like really, expensive. Mmm. Their jalapeno poppers are good. I remember I went to a sauna. <clears throat> there was no one in the sauna. I was by myself. The whole thing to myself. It was at the Marina Bay, Bay Sands. Again, it's this fancy hotel that's shaped like a boat on two, three stilts high up. And I had city view. I could see some mountains in the background. The city. It was very clean. More people spoke English there than any of my other Asia travels. Malaysia, Thailand. I would love to see the Philippines. It's actually I want to see all of them. Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, China, Japan. Is that all the Asian countries? Oh my god, I'm probably forgetting one. They're so mad right now. I'm sorry, you guys. Wait. Oh, oh, I don't know. That's okay. I know it's hard to remember all 50 states too. I always forget some. Anyways, um, had the durian, went in the sauna by myself. Thought that I could sweat out the water weight from the durian. I drank a lot of water, like a lot of water, like half a gallon, which is kind of dangerous to do all at once because electrolytes. And I drank it and I weighed the same. It was so weird to me. And I, went, I weighed myself before and after the sauna and I sweated and I sweated and I sweated. I weighed the same. So it was very crazy from that durian. My body with the allergic reaction. I was swollen like a bee. Mmm. The chicken nuggets I'm not crazy about, honestly. And neither that sandwich. I went to D Typhoon which is a dumpling place. But it's chained, you know, you can get it in America too. There's not that many around though. The best dumplings ever. And I filmed in the restaurant. <clears throat> I think it's on Orland's channel. I think I gave that to him. Someone st see my computer's over there uploading a video. That means I could see a text here. Oh, that's just Orland again. See, I knew. Um. I would love to go back with Orlin. And I want, I want to go see the mountains of Malaysia. Mountain life, hey. It's so weird. I'm always like, I hate travel. I'm going to do it all the time. But at least you guys are going to come with me, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Is there cheese in here? I think so. Jalapeno poppers are awesome. Oh, today I went to Walmart and I got baby mandarins again. Well, not clementines. No, they're regular sized mandarins. I've been eating, this is my third, no. 
my third bag. I've been here a couple of days already. And I'm here for a couple more. There, it's my third bag. Can you believe it? But I feel so good after I eat them. I feel like it's keeping my immune system well, all that vitamin C. The fiber, making sure all this gets out of me. <laughs> they say fiber is sweeping. Sweep all the way down. <laughs> oh, it looked like Beauty and the Beast, the little mops that dance. Dee 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 dee. <sighs> People always get so shocked when I make my orders and I never get a drink because I like water. And they're like, no drink, you don't want a drink? The guy who took my order today, I almost felt like he recognized me. I could tell by the way he was looking. And I'm not saying this because I'm conceited or narcissistic. or People like people always say that. I don't know why. That's because I'm used to it. And I've been on the other side of the, the stick where it's like I recognize someone. I don't want to say it. I don't know how to say it. I'm too nervous to say it. So I kind of just look at them a lot. <clears throat> it happened with the Hodge twins I told you about. I saw them at the airport and I couldn't bring myself to say hi. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I, I, I know I've been on that side and I've been on the other side where I can see people look at me and I'm walking down the street and they're like, Psh, try to get my photo or they'll just look at their phone, look at me, look at their phone. No, me, I, so I Walmart today, I heard a girl who was staring at me. She was on the phone. She was talking to her ear pods. I remember I was walking by, I looked at her, and she was looking right at me. And I turned and I look at her again as I'm still walking. And she was looking right at me. And I pass her pretty close and I hear her, dude, wait, wait, guess who's in front of me? Oh my god. The YouTuber that eats a lot. Yeah, I hit and that's all I heard because I I was walking into the door. Oh it's it's fun. You guys can always say hi to me. I'm I swear I, I will Take a photo, I'll say hi, do whatever. You can all say hi. Mm. I'm kind of getting full. I ate all of my, I ate all the chicken nuggets. Wow. They honestly are forgettable. Darn it, why is the best ones expensive? Shake Shack is so memorable, but everything there is so expensive. This comes from Corny. Hello. Um, when are you gonna go on You Now again? I miss all your live streams, but they're the best. Oh, thank you so much, Corny. I, I do live streaming twice a week. And it, the schedule's kind of all over the place, but it's either Saturday and Sunday, and Mon or Tuesday and Wednesday, or Thursday. So it's always once over the weekend, and once in the middle of the week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, so maybe today, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I go live Friday. Sometimes I go live Monday. <clears throat> so there's no set schedule because if I don't commit to it, people get angry, and I'm like, you know, I'm human, I have chores, I have to clean. You know, I have a husband, I have to edit, I'm working, I'm traveling, I'm, you know. So, I used to go live a lot, live streaming, but that was before I posted it. No, was it? It was in Colombia. But my, my marriage was going down the drain, so. <clears throat> I want to make sure I give him my attention. And then I'm not so, oh, look, someone put me as my other uh, background. Shout out to Rose Maximum. So happy you and Tammy got together these last few days. I can't wait to watch these YouTube videos. I made a Twitter just so you could see this. Oh, I'm liking this. Chelsea Lynn, follow her. And that's Fatback Rice Tooth. Follow her. She has an Instagram page too. Fatback Rice Tooth. And then there's oh, if I get another Mr. Noodle, I am making him an Instagram. You know it. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Oh, my baby. My baby, Mr. Noodle. Would you rather be a kid forever or an elderly person forever? Kid. 
Assuming you have parents that pay the bills and feed you. <laughs> now the electricity is zapping out when you're playing Mario on the Super Nintendo. Ah, no. <sighs> and we're talking about like a healthy elderly or a sick elderly. There's a different, oh, totally difference right there. Actually, you know what? I'd probably choose a healthy elderly because 65 is still elderly technically. But if you're a healthy 65 and you could stay up forever, you're retired, assuming you have a retirement plan or, oh, that could be very nice too. Oh, okay, I take that back. Nope, I would be a healthy, you know, very healthy, <laughs> healthy 65 year old over a kid. Oh yeah, I take it back. Because you know so much more about the world and you can enjoy, you know, content. You can watch television and understand what they're saying. You know, when you're a kid, it all goes over your head. Um, you've had an experience. You have hopefully someone that you love and you can grow old with. Oh, wait, can the, well, can your lover stay old with you forever? Nope, you'll probably have to watch them go bye-bye, but. <clears throat> hey, Nick, can we see a sushi mukbang soon? This comes from Brittany. Yes, absolutely. They're my favorite to watch, and that's actually how I found you. Thank you, Brittany. Oh, really? I don't do sushi very often. Um, it's pricey, but I, I definitely owe you guys another sushi. It's been a while. It's been, I think the last time I ate sushi, I was with uh, my sister, Check out that video. Sushi with my other sister. One of the others. She agreed to it. Um, yeah, is that the one you found? Yeah, because that was months ago too. Yeah, I don't do sushi very often. I would love to do another sushi video. Can you play other instruments too? This comes from Sarah. Uh, piano, a little bit, self-taught. I mean, I did have lessons in college, hated it. So hard. I mean, I did a good job. My performances were always great. I was a great performer. And um, I practiced a lot, um, but they're still very basic, you know. I played, what was it, um, Chopin, it was like one of the beginner, like, dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, dun, 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 <laughs> a pianist might know what I just sang. Yeah, I played that, yeah, it's kind of easy, but <clears throat> it was, musically, you had to be very careful about your phrasing. Um... Gosh, someone asked a question and Twitter hid it from me. This tweet is now unavailable and someone responded to it. Viper said, that's not a nice question to ask. But when I click on it, it says, learn more. Help Twitter, Twitter has been removed. They said something inappropriate. Hmm, let's see here. Let's do another question. Um. Oh, we're blocking her. Every time, like every, like literally every time I tweet, she has to say something negative. It's like, I'll do the favor for you and make it go away. You don't have to think of me. <sighs> um, love you. Thank you, Leo. Let's see, a lot of these are not questions. How are you feeling? I love you and support you. Thank you. Oops, I'm jumping in the trend. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really happy. I'm feeling inspired. I feel so good to be here. Um... Most of these are talking about, I probably shouldn't have pulled, pulled my shirt up like that. That's what it is. I pulled my shirt up and so a lot of the questions are like, what's going on there? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually really full. You guys, this was good. I do not really recommend the chicken nuggets. I don't really recommend their sandwiches or any of their burgers. I just don't. Get the egg rolls, get a taco. And their onion rings are pretty good too. And the curly fries. But the taco and the egg rolls are my top two. They're a very good snack. I would get them tacos and egg rolls. Okay, you got, and the jalapeno poppers were good too, actually. Way better than the chicken nuggets, so bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow.